If you're after a pint-sized, easy-going, fail-state-free sandbox island builder game, then Gordlitz should well be the game for you, because you can't get it wrong, you can't fail, and it's all about happy, jolly, good vibes watching your cute vegetable folk wander around the island you create. There's several different layers to Gordlitz, but you won't find any economy, you won't find fail states, you can't do anything wrong in this game whatsoever. It's all about inviting the Gordlitz on the little train to arrive at your island where they will just wander around relaxed and interact with each other and the different obstacles or environmental objects that you put down around them. The surface level is building the island how you want it to be, and you start off with terraforming the land around you. Everything is the same level, so you don't have to deal with height, but you can choose whether you want grass or sand or docks and decking or different types of pavement. Once you've got that in, you can ring things off with various different walls or fences if you want to, or you can get straight into building various different crops that you can then lay out for them to then be harvested and grown and watered over time. As Gordlets rock up into the world, and you can trigger that by asking the Gordlet train to arrive, and there's no real hard and fast upper limit to where you can get this to, Gordlets will then arrive complete with their own name, their own colour of skin, or vegetable skin rather, and they can be equipped with an accessory. And that could be bunny ears, it could be a snorkel, it could be a chef's hat, it could be a king crown. Whatever you want, it's in there. And then they will wander off totally doing their own thing. And whilst you can pick them up and grab them and drop them in various different environments or arenas, particularly because you can wall things off. And unlike the Sims, like the Godlets don't need to be fed or watered, they just wander around being stupid. You can then place them wherever you want them to be so that they interact with the world around you. So it could be that they water the hedges or clip the hedges, or it could be that you place them in the water and they'll just float around in a little dinghy, chilling out. It could be that you place them in amongst various different trees and they'll start swinging around on rope swings. Or it could be that they wander off to the Ferris wheel and start tootling around on the wheel itself. You just watch them play. And most of the fun for me with Gordlets, once I'd sent up my environment, was just to check in on my little inhabitants and see what they were up to because they're endlessly cute and as you zoom in and out the soft pixel art style really gives this game character beyond the actual doing the do. The next part of Gordlitz is laying out your buildings and you can again have quite a lot of these and there are tents, there are ones that look quite cosy with chimneys, there are ones that look more like manors and big posh buildings or town halls and once you lay them down and choose the orientation for them and the colour palette of what you want to lay down and that colour palette is consistent across all the objects that you place you can then go inside each and every building and each one comes with a load of parcels that you can unbox and they generally come in themes. So there might be lots of laundry, there could be lots of cake for a cake shop and bakery sale or it could be that there's lots of games for an arcade or potentially lots of fitness equipment for a gym. There's about 10 or so objects for each type of theme and some of them can be placed on the floor or you can place some of the things on tables then place chairs around them and the Gordlets will wander in, interact with different environments and just seeing what they do is quite cute. Some of what they do also changes depending on the weather because you can trigger rain in some seasons and that will get them up with a little umbrella wandering around. But also you can change the season too and as summer turns to autumn buoyant grass turns into darker coloured grass and the trees start to wither and when it hits into winter rain becomes snow but also a lot of the plantation becomes very uh, sterile and dead because we're approaching spring where things become anew. This is all very cute. It doesn't necessarily change any of the gameplay mechanics necessarily, but it just provides more nuance, character variations on the theme as you plot out what it is that you want to do. Ultimately, for a cheap game, which Gordlitz is, it's all around placing the environment where you want it to be and then just watching things interact and then perhaps 
zoning out some of your island into certain themes or building various different islands and checking in on them depending on how you want to build things. As godlets mature, they unlock various flowers on top of them and they contribute towards the present train and there are certain gifts or objects that become unlockable on islands as you mature your gordlets and so it's up to you to put more gordlets on the island watch them interact with different things and different other gordlets and in doing so as they mature socially that unlocks more presents for you to then trigger onto the present train the vast majority of things are unlocked from the get-go though and from that perspective i found this quite an empowering sandbox game to play because most of the tools are available immediately out of the box However, what that does mean is that you see everything immediately straight away. And so what Gordlitz lacks is that overarching big progression for you to keep playing hour after hour after hour. And what I found, having only had this game for a couple of days, is that I found Gordlitz to be more fun when I was checking in in very short, sharp bursts rather than playing for extensive periods of time because I would then go in change a few things around, maybe change the season or the weather pattern, and then just watch what was going on for a little bit and then come away again. And that seemed to be the best way to play Gordlets in short, sharp bursts. This game is packed with lots of things for the price that you pay for it though. And so what I need to kind of say up front is if you're expecting this massive complex city builder, this ain't it and it's not wanting to be. This is about chilled, relaxed, cozy, wholesome vibes and watching cute little vegetable creatures bumbling around in a slightly lackadaisical way, being utterly charming as they go about their day. And that's really what Gordlitz has to offer. Big thumbs up from me. This is one of those cosy mugs of cocoa, I think, in terms of a game format that will hopefully scratch a few itches for people who want to invest in a city builder or a farming style game without having to go through the drudgery of building something up over time. This is fast, quick, intuitive and very easy to play. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.